In the world of e-commerce, customer service is key. Having the ability to answer questions quickly while your customers shop online can turn casual visitors into loyal shoppers by securing a sale. In this tutorial, we'll have a look at Lyro. Lyro is a conversational AI chatbot that is revolutionizing customer service. Lyro is brought to you by the team at Tidio, which is a top-rated platform for both small and medium-sized businesses. This video is created in collaboration with Tidio, whose combination of live chat and chatbot tools help to grow sales through outstanding customer service. To kick things off, we're going to sign up for a free Tidio account. We invite you to click on the link in our description that not only gives you access to a free account, but also gives you your first 50 Lyra conversations for free as well. We'll enter our email address, followed by a password and then our own website. We'll go ahead and check the box here saying that we agree to Tidio's terms and then hit get started for free. Now that we're all signed up, we can start to configure our live chat. And this is where we can do things like set our name. So this is the name that our customers will see when they visit our website. And we can also choose our color scheme and avatar. Tidio offers you a handful of options to choose from that are really nice looking. And if you'd like to customize it even further and use your company colors, you can certainly do that as well. For example, I'll go ahead and grab the hex color from our logo and simply input it here. And this is nice in that it creates a seamless experience for your customers when it comes to colors and brand. Next, we'll click here to upload our avatar picture. And in our case, we're using the eStore Kings icon. We then have the option to select a chat language. And as you can see here, there are tons to choose from. We'll leave it set to English for now. And now that we're done configuring our live chat, we're going to click on the continue button at the bottom of the screen. We'll then be asked a few questions about our business to allow Tidio to provide the best possible experience for us. These questions include things like, what is your main focus? How do you want to do that? And how many support agents are going to use Tidio? Go ahead and fill out all of your information and then hit continue. In this next step, we're going to set up our first chatbot. And this is going to dictate how we're going to engage with our visitors when they come to our website for the very first time. There are two options here on the left-hand side. We're going to select the second option and then customize the message by clicking on this link here in the top right-hand corner. With Tidio, everything is highly customizable. So we're free to update the text and really make it our own. We'll hit save message and then continue on to the next step. With Tidio, you can connect to dozens of different e-commerce tools and platforms. And in our case, we're going to connect it to our Shopify store. So we'll click on Shopify in the left-hand menu and then enter our Shopify store name. After that, we'll hit connect to Shopify. From there, we'll be taken to the install page where we can review the app information and then hit install app in the top right-hand corner. And one of the great things that you've probably already noticed is that there's no coding involved. You can get set up and running in just a few minutes. Now, before we can enable Lyro, our AI chatbot, we'll simply add the widget to our website. All we have to do is click on this blue button here, which is going to take us to our theme editor in Shopify. From there on the left-hand side, we just have to make sure that the Tidio chat widget is enabled. And then we'll hit save in the top right-hand corner. If we head on over to our website, we can see that the chat widget that we configured is now live and ready to use. All right, so we've added the widget to our website and we've started our first conversation. Now it's time to have some fun and enable Lyro, our AI powered chatbot. So we'll hit this blue button here that says enable Lyro. And then we'll click on set up Lyro. Next, we'll have a read through the restrictions and hit accept. And this is where we're going to add our FAQs, which are going to help Lyro interact and engage with our visitors. By doing this, we can automate 70% of our conversations. So we have two different options here. We can import FAQs directly from our website, or we can create them from scratch. Since we already have an FAQ page on our website, we're going to select the first option and hit next. We're going to grab the URL and input it here. We'll go ahead and hit import. And that's it, our set of FAQs have been added. Now we do have the option to edit or delete FAQs. So if we'd like to change anything, we can certainly do that here. Once we're done editing the text, we'll hit save in the top right hand corner. And then you also have the option to add a new question manually. 
We can add a new question along with its answer and then hit save. Now that we're done adding our FAQs, we can go back. We're going to click on the Playground tab so that we can give Lyro a test run before we activate it. By default, we're going to ask people to share an email address and sign up for our newsletter. And this is really a straightforward way of not only engaging with our customers, but also collecting leads and thinking about using it as a marketing tool long term. Once a customer begins chatting, Lyro is going to introduce itself and also link to our FAQ page just in case if the customer would like to visit it. So let's test this out. We're going to ask Lyro if the website accepts Visa. Thanks to the information that we shared, Lyro is able to provide a quick and clear answer. Let's ask another question. We'll say, what other cards do you accept? And as you can see here, Lyro actually remembers previous replies and understands context. This means that it can generate detailed answers and make sure that your customers are getting the information that they need. We're going to ask a couple of more questions here before we activate Lyro. And Lyro doesn't just stop at AI. This powerful tool uses natural language processing as well as machine learning. Now you may be wondering what happens in the event where Lyro doesn't have enough information to answer a question. And in that case, it will be upfront and say, you know, I don't have this information. However, you can talk to a real person. It's important to note that Lyro will quickly and easily hand off a conversation over to a team member when asked to do so. If the customer would rather talk to a person, we certainly want to get them over to someone right away. All right, so we've gone ahead and tested out Lyro and we've played around with it. And now we're going to activate it. We can either toggle it on over here on the left hand side or hit the activate Lyro button in the top right hand corner. And there we have it. Lyro has been activated and is ready to answer our customers questions. Not only does Lyro provide a better user experience for our customers, but it also minimizes your team's workload. You can see it answering a few questions here. And as soon as the customer says, you know, I'd like to speak to a human, Lyra will hand off the conversation over to a team member. Here we have a human typing and essentially greeting the customer by saying, hi, my name is Derek. I'm ready to answer your questions for you. As I said before, Lyra is highly customizable. So let's head on back to Tidio, where we'll click on the settings icon in the bottom left-hand corner. Here we can edit the widget appearance now we may have already selected a color background. We do have the option to change our mind if we wish. We can also change the welcome image along with the online status text. And then a little further down, we can change the position of the widget itself. So we can move it to the left or the right. We can also change the label text. So right now it says chat with us, but perhaps we'd like to change it to hi there. The widget sounds are enabled, which is great. You can also change the widget visibility. So let's say you didn't want it to show up on mobile. You could change it to only desktop devices, and then you have the option to hide on specific pages. This comes in handy because you may not want to show the widget across your entire website. For example, since Lyro is going to be answering all of the FAQs, we'll go ahead and hide it from the FAQ page on our website. To do that, all we have to do is copy and paste the URL of the page into this field here and hit the add button. Then we'll hit confirm. We also have the option to display the chat when we're offline. Now this is incredibly useful because most customers actually expect a business to be available 24 seven. We can also let visitors create a ticket when we're offline. Displaying the chat, whether you're online or offline can actually generate more marketing and sales opportunities that will allow you to help your customers and scale your business. We can also edit the offline message to our liking. And then if we head on down even further, we can change the get started settings here. And you'll notice that at the top right hand side over here, we have a drop down menu where we can select different previews. I really like this because we can see our changes in real time and really get a feel for what it is that our customers are going to experience. So again, we can change the get started settings here, whether that be the messaging itself, or we can even change the background. We can choose from a number of images here or upload a picture from our computer. I'm going to choose this laptop image here. It kind of makes me think of customer service 
and goes along with our website. You also have the ability to change the mobile settings, and we can change the pre-chat survey. Again, I'll change the preview over on the right-hand side. And currently it says, please introduce yourself by leaving your email address. If we'd like, we can change the settings over on the left-hand side. We can also add extra fields like name or phone number. Now, of course, because we've added the name field, we'll edit the message again. At the same time, if you don't want to include a survey at all, you can very easily disable it. Personally, I think it's a great feature to leave on, especially because you can collect email addresses for your email list. Finally, at the bottom, we have routing rules for different departments, as well as the multi-language settings. We're only going to use English in this case. So now that I'm done making all of my changes, I'm going to hit save at the very bottom. So if we go back to our website, we can see that the widget is not visible on our FAQ page. And that's because we added the FAQ URL to the list of hidden pages. However, if we click on our home page, not only can we see the customized widget and all of the changes that we've made, but we can actually carry on the conversation from where we left off. In Tidio, we can actually see the entire conversation play out. So from top to bottom, we have all of Lyro's interactions. And then you can see where the bot handed over the conversation. Down at the bottom here is where your team member can now respond to the customer. And not only can they manually respond, but you can take advantage of the Reply Assistant AI feature. It will certainly help us to be a little more creative and really come in handy when we're having a hard time thinking of what to say. And of course, we can also edit it and add to it. Once we're happy with our reply, we'll hit reply in the bottom right hand corner. And then I'll show you this really neat feature that Tidio allows you to do, which is over here on the right hand side, and that's sending a product card. So in addition to using Lyro, the AI powered chatbot, as well as a live agent, we can even send a product card to help secure the sale. And this is what our customer will see over on our website. So here's our reply, half of which was generated by AI. And of course, the other half is the part that I typed in manually. And then down here at the bottom, we have the product card, which links to our product. And very conveniently, the chat widget has followed them as well, which will allow the customer to ask any additional questions that they may have. Lyro has unlocked an exciting milestone when it comes to customer service automation. Not only will it help to boost customer satisfaction and increase sales, it will allow us to focus on other important tasks like business growth and our company's overall mission. Click the link in our description to set up a free Tidio account and give Lyro a try today.